Howdy folks, and welcome back to the garage. Today we are checking in with Chipotle is life. Can't disagree, I love Chipotle. He's driving his uh, tier 10 German medium tank, the Leopard 1, to uh, some great success. Why don't we check that out right now? And we are off. It's a uh, tier 10 match, obviously, with a few tier 9s sprinkled in for good measure. It's a Mirage map, and we are moving kind of in the... Uh, Southeast direction. Let's pop up here, get some spots. Oh, look at that tasty grill. <laughs> oh, no more shots on that particular guy. Uh, this isn't a bad place, though. Oh, gag pens are 100. Nice side of beef there to put a big hole in. Another one for you, sir. Oh, I, you know, I just, I love this. People just drive right in front of everybody else. No regard whatsoever. An amazing lack of manners in Blitz. <laughs> Oop. Unfortunate miss there. We're going to change our position. Get around. Looks like the whole enemy team has basically gone for that head-on engagement. Even his own team. It's only Chipotle here who's sought some sort of flanking position. Flanking positions in a situation like this can really be beneficial for your team. Because look at that. That grill is not pointed at his uh, compadres anymore. Anyone else he distracts, anyone else he upsets or kills, such as the grill, <laughs> is a complete benefit to the people facing off against these people. Boom, takes that track. He's not going anywhere. But he realizes he's in trouble, so he's moving off. Let's get him out again. Another good shot in. This enemy team is lucky. They are so focused on uh, their head-on engagement. To their detriment. Ooh, swing and a miss. Not bad, though. We can afford it. No shot there. Oh, had a miss on the uh, T-54. He takes a quick look over, but decides, nope, it's more important, those people out front. We are down a tank, despite this awesome gameplay by Chipotle. That's why these guys, no, nope, we're down three tanks at the moment. The enemy team is feeling justified in ignoring him right now. Can't say I blame him for that either. Chipotle's got some excellent control of his vehicle here. Constantly tracking that 268. Now he's going to take a look at who just tracked him. There's the IS-8. Goodbye to the IS-8. Let's get around here behind the object 268. Can't compete with the Leopard at all for mobility. Tracks him again. Excellent thinking. Doesn't uh, dive right in. Takes a look around him. Make sure nobody's really looking. He's using this rock for cover. Smart play there. Still gets ammo rack for his trouble. Goodbye, 268. Now you see how he puts that rock between him and that vehicle behind him. Now he's going to use these berms to his advantage as well. Yeah, someone's coming around behind. Uh, T57 heavy. Boom! Puts a shot in. I'm not sure if I would have stuck around to duke it out with the 57 heavy. He's got the three clip. Auto loader, very heavy gun. Ooh. So he's put about 700 hit points off him. Just a bump. Gives him another one. He tracks him. Oh. Oh, yep. Almost might have. The only thing I could say is, well, hindsight's 50 50, but he could have run off and kept taking pot shots, I suppose. But in any event, it's a great match. Well, now our first stat screen reveals the first class medal, only a first class, and a high caliber award without a premium account. He did receive 1,440 points of experience and grossed just about 68,000 credits, not too bad. And he dealt four points shy of 7,000 damage. Really nice, a really good game. Sadly, still losing money at that point. Probably if he'd won, he might have made some cashos. And he's got three kills for the bargain. Now, our second stat screen reveals some of the same numbers that we said before already, but it is also revealing as to what went down on parts of the battlefield that we couldn't actually see in this one. You can see that Chipotle had a kick-butt game. The rest of his team, the E100, respectable. The rest... They got nothing done, which tells me that they were mostly out of position. I think if we went back and looked at that again on the mini-map, you could probably see that even though the enemy team looked like they were all clustered together, which was great for Chipotle to get those shots in, his team kind of looks to me like they must have approached them kind of one at a time almost, or just, you know, they didn't have the way to fire there, and they got steamrolled. Look at that. 
just awful scores. The other team far more consistent scoring compared to Chipotle's. Good thing Chipotle was there or we'd have a no <laughs> respectable numbers here at all, I don't think. Well, that was great. Uh, if you've got your own replay, that you'd like me to feature here and commentate on, feel free to send me the uh, recorded video file. Please also grab the screenshots, you know, the uh, the first and second stat screens especially. Uh, also, please make sure you record at 720p and as high a bit rate as possible. We gotta maintain some quality standards here on the channel, right? Well, folks, there you have it. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like down below. If you really enjoyed this video, hit the subscribe button. Let me know in the comments. As well, be sure to visit my social media pages, both on Facebook and Twitter. This is where I post info that, well, not belonging in a video, it's worth taking a look at. I would also like to give a shout out to my Patreon supporters. You folks are making a huge difference for me. If you like what I do and enjoy the community all of us humans are building, please consider supporting the mission via my Patreon page. There are quite a few options with varying levels of support. Maybe one of them will suit you. Links to all things in the video description. Alright folks, thanks very much for stopping by and watching. I'll catch you next time.